Good afternoon. This is Tina. Uh, last video, I showed you how to serve an HTML file uh, on our HTTP server, which is a Node server. So uh, we threw one question, which is uh, if we have a huge file, what's going to happen, right? Here, I show you a solution. Okay, the first solution, we have uh, three solutions. So here uh, I have, I create a very big file using this uh, module, okay? And uh, you can download from source code. I just run it and after you run, you get a big file. Okay, you see here it's very big. Okay, I don't want to open, uh, which is have something nonsense, okay? And uh, so now I want to serve this file. Don't show again, okay? I want to serve this file in our server. So first thing is, uh, still we have to have HTTP server, right? I will write it again, okay? HTTP, and then uh, we also need to have a file system to read the file, require file system, and then I will using the shorthand to create the create server, okay? And you're gonna have a request, response, and uh, Anyway, it's fine, okay? And I'm gonna listen to 3000. And also, we're gonna give a callback function to make sure our server is running successfully, okay? Running on 3000. And previously, when we serve this uh, HTML file, this is our we serve. We're using the synchronous, right? And uh, probably you might think, I want to using the asynchronous. Okay, the first thing I want to do is, uh, I'll, I'll just uh, copy something. Okay, this one. I oh, this is not HTML, so I don't do anything. Okay, so here you might think I using asynchronous. Okay, read the file. Where is my read the file? Okay, this one, right? When are we using this one? This means asynchronous, right? We give a path. Here, I just using big.file, okay? And then we are gonna do, yes, here gonna have a callback. Callback in node, the first variable is also the error, hold the error. If no error happens, then it's gonna become this ERR, this variable will hold the value none if there's no error. And the second is data, which means what's gonna be inside this file, okay? Call back, then we can using res.end. Yeah. Okay. So first let's test if it works. Okay. So how to test using node solution one.js. Okay, it's running and we go to our here. You will see. Okay, got it. Okay. So it's the, the big file, okay? So is is this solved our problem by using this way? It's not a solve because when we using uh, this this method, read the file sync, or not re uh, or read the file. The difference between them is one is a synchronous, the other one is asynchronous. But uh, all of them, both of the method, we are read the entire file in the memory at once. That's the that that's so it, it it's not it all of them are read once the difference is one is synchronous the other one is asynchronous and which is suppose here here i create a console dot log hello here okay and uh, this hello will print after the entire thing is done after the reading is done the other one is if i do a Console log hello here. This hello will execute before the this before this thing. That's the only different. That's the difference between them because this one is asynchronous. Okay, but it didn't solve the problem. The it all load everything in the memory, then send it back to the browser. Okay, so this is not a good solution. So next solution, I will show you a better way in our next solution. Okay, uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.